Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Grandmaster Nightfall as the arms dealer. This is the second one we've had, and this is my second solo. So that I'm doing it on Warlock, Top Tree, uh, Nova. I'm using Nightwatch, Palindrome, and Apex Predator. As you can see here, I'm going with roughly what I would go with for most of these things. Uh, I I'll speak a little bit more. We are going to have time during the, the run for me to explain a little bit more why I'm running these things. I don't like to have big long things at the start. I want to get straight into the action. But I've got the usual ammo finders, scavengers for the weapons I'm using. Uh, as soon as you come in here, you're going to be faced with uh, two scions, two void incendiars, an unstoppable and a barrier. So what you can see me doing here is I've, got, I've thrown a grenade, trying to just... Thin out the ads right from the start. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to take the barrier. Now, you can see he's in a real bad position for my rocket. But you see I'm getting massive yellow numbers. Uh, that last as long as I crit him. Every time I re-crit him, you'll see my... You can see there, you can see, actually you'd have seen my uh, sight flash. That is Sunder and Glare. I've got it on my bond. Basically, I'm shaking my head because two of my rockets hit the corner of the corner of that uh, ledge. Uh, Sunder and glare. Basically, if you get multiple crits in a row from range, you see there. No, no, the the enemy will take. Uh, you've weakened the enemy, and you'll see here. It was a body shot, but it gave me crit damage. So I've got Sunder and Glare on. You have to be a certain distance away from the enemy before Sunder and Glare actually procs. The reason I... Uh, another kind of little tip bit. I stopped that unstoppable there. Solar damage is increased in this, uh, in this GM. I stopped that overload right there so that he can take damage from my rocket. And he can take damage from the explosive barrel. Uh, the, the grenade took mo the two Scions out. Well, it took a Scion out, took an Incendiar out. Lowered, lowered the shield of another incendiar, so it just left me really to concentrate on the champions. The barrier is the main one. You can run away from the overload, the unstoppable, sorry, but you can't from the barrier. So, getting here, we've got a ship and we've got a ton of ads. Now, the key ads in this area for me are the snipers. Uh, you are going to get pushed by by uh, by elites. You've got this whole area here to uh, these the, these these uh, these enemies here. They do solar. They throw these uh, grenades. See there, it's, you do get hurt quite a bit if you're getting shot by by those. And if you, if you do happen to get yourself into a position, you see there those honored legionaries. There's three of them that are going to push you. If, if you get shot by their primary, which is solar, and you get hit by a grenade, the grenade will almost kill you anyway, but if you get hit by both, it's over. There are a, a whole bunch of scions in this area. There are static scions over on the other side. You have to take care of those as soon as... I mean, where we are now, we're, we've got cover. We're dodging in and out. See me keep looking over. That's the area where one of them's going to be, and the other one will be over to another box. The reason I'm the reason I'm saying about the the scions being the main kind of thing you need to look out for is because they're a one hit. Now these enemies here that are pushing us, they they they're pretty they're pretty tough as well, but they they're not a one hit with anything. You can see what they're doing, and 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 you can prevent it. The other thing is, you'd have seen me come straight in here. I didn't bother with the ship because the ship will leave of its own accord. you see me come straight in and throw that grenade down exactly where I threw that one. That's because there's a, quite a big build-up of enemies there and the grenade can sort them out. The grenade's going to be our best friend doing this. We're going to be doing a lot of damage with the grenades. So, Controverse, it's a staple if you're using Top Tree Nova. Uh, that that's basically That's basically the grenades. Scout Rifle, is, I'm using Nightwatch. I was going to try a Solar Scout Rifle. I was going to gonna go with the Polaris Lance. I was going to give that a go uh, because I thought it would have been good for barriers. But I ultimately settled on, on, on the Nightwatch again. Explosive rounds. You know, once you've got Sunder and Glare on, uh, 
explosive rounds hit for, for hit, hit yellow numbers as well. That's that's an elite scion that sits at the bottom. There's one more static scion. You'll see me keep looking for him. I'm just going to keep... But there is an unstoppable here as well, I, I should add. But you can see him just there. Uh, but if you don't if you don't push him, he if you stay in this area, he won't come for you. There's the other scion. Once I take this other scion down, I can move a bit more freely because I'm not going to get pinged from from all different places. So we'll just stop the we'll stop the unstoppable. Now you'll see me do this a fair amount. I'll stop an unstoppable and then and then I'll start pinging them to get to get them weakened. I'll just throw my Nova, get rid of that. Now the Nova won't kill him. Watch out because there's a grenade. The Nova won't kill him. You see you see I've got the I've got those crits on that on that mini boss. Uh I'm just I'm I'm not wanting to I'm not wanting to use my last rocket, so I'm I'm just gonna whittle him down. Maybe if I can get him finishable. Uh I'm not I'm just yeah, so 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 that kind of the the last ad he's kind of a mini boss. I, w I was putting it on him. Sundering glare kicked in, and he, my explosive rounds. You'll see here my explosive rounds. Once you get that flash on your barrel, the explosive rounds now do yellow numbers. Or just and so will your grenade. Everything will. Now what will happen is that lasts for a certain amount of time, but you'll see it, the minute you shoot at that enemy again before the the weakening effect is finished. Uh, it will take Sunder and Glare's effect off. That 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 ad will no longer be weakened. So it's worthwhile letting the effect last. I think it lasts for like I, I actually can't remember how long it is. Five to five to eight seconds or ten seconds or something like that. I've never actually tested it properly uh, because I, I kind of always kind of use it in a combat scenario. Once you've cleared this area. Uh, and, and the reason I'm saying that is when you use it in a high high end combat scenario, the last thing you're doing is timing its effect. So it's, I picked up the, the the unstable charge. The reason I picked it up is because these ads won't prop won't come until uh, until you have. I threw a grenade to kill. Normally the grenade kills all the dogs. I threw the grenade to kill the dogs. Uh, and what I'm going to do now? What I was doing was. I fired a, I fired a rocket at the boss to get his shield to come up at this champion, this barrier champion. And then from the minute I start kind of breaking his shield, Sunder and Glare does exactly what it does on every other enemy. It makes it really easy to break barrier champion shields because body shots are crits. So the an unstable core has went back up top. Uh, you see there... I'll explain why I got hit. What I normally do here, because I've I've beat this already. This isn't my my first run of this this week. Uh, what I normally do is I normally put some on the, this this champion. Uh, just just to stop him from doing that. So I'm just gonna Kobe a grenade over there, and you'll see if I can get Sunder and Glare going. The grenade gives me yellow numbers. So we're just gonna. What I what I do here as you. You, you'll see there, I, I I hit them so often, and then I hold back to make sure, I've said this before in videos, just to make sure I've got enough ammo to break his shield. Because if you don't, you see there, he's going to start regenerating. Luckily, I caught him, caught him before he could get full his full shield back. But you just just put it on him and leave yourself, if, you, if you've got Sunder and Glare, leave yourself with enough ammo still in the magazine to break his shield again. So, my grenade took some of the dogs out. Uh, one of the scions. So, so when you when you come into this area to start with and you've got the first barrier champion, you've got two scions. Now, most of the time, your rocket, the rocket you put on the, the barrier, will kill at least one of the scions, which is what happened. But the other one just hightailed it, just done the off. So, I, that, I was looking for him. After I killed the champion, that was the first thing I was looking for, was to see where the scion was. You don't get a ton of scions in this, if I'm being honest. This area is really scion rife. There's, there's two more that I can think of that you've really got to watch out for. Maybe three. But in the tank room, there's none. Uh, so we've, we've kind of dealt with the scions for the strike, almost. So when you get here, I've, I've gone back and I've picked up the, 
the court, you're nearly always going to get this ship. I think only one time when, when I was going through with with people, and the only one time this never never actually spawned. So what I do is I come down here, put a rocket on, put two clips of Night Watch on, and then pick the core back up so it doesn't disappear. And normally your third clip on your Night Watch will kill the ship. So that's three clips of Night Watch and a rocket. Now solar damage is increased. It's not incoming, it's just solar damage. That's why I've went with uh, the Apex Predator. I will explain why I went with the Apex Predator w w over over something like Xenophage. Because I know there are people using the Xeno. Uh, I, I, the Xeno is really good, but for me, for the way I, I chose to do this, it just wasn't going to cut it for me. So, But I will explain, there are, we'll have points during this where we're going to be doing stuff while I, while I can... Get, give more more uh, explanation. So what I tried to do here was uh, get Sunder and Glare onto this champion, onto this unstoppable, before I put my rocket on. Now, unfortunately, I didn't actually have a lot of rocket launcher ammo when I got here, but <laughs> I'm not. I'm known for. Uh, I'm I'm very confident, maybe not known, but I'm very confident in my grenade throwing abilities. So, you know, the grenade is going to be super super helpful in this run. So, what, as I say, once once you go and get the 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 unstable core and you come and slam it, you're going to have ads that are going to come out from this door on the right. If you prime a grenade and you put it there, you'll take care of just about all of them. So you can see with the scout rifle, the scout rifle does m big damage against champions. I'm not really wanting to waste too much stuff, so I'm just trying to get them low enough that I can go up and finish them. You see there, that flash, that circle on his head, it's finishable. And I knew I had heavy on the floor from the first honoured centurion. I didn't realise... Uh, legionary, sorry. I didn't realise that the, <laughs> the champion would drop it, so I'm back up to six rockets. Now this is a platinum run, so that uh, there is an additional champion that I normally just I don't never bother with the champion. But now that platinum is important, I'm going to be taking care of business with that with that other champion. So what I do is I take those two two uh, scions, as I've said already, they're they're always my focus. Uh, take the two scions out, and then you've got three legionaries down here. Just be careful with these legionaries because. Uh, they hurt a lot. So what I what I wanted to do there was, I never actually checked. I probably didn't have to do that. Your melee on top tree nova just just landing the melee gives you half your grenade back. So I wasn't sure how much grenade energy I had. Uh, so that's why I always, if if at all possible, I just land a melee. So that is this section. We are now going to the tank area, which is probably. This is the there's three main areas before you get to the boss, and that first area is is your obviously your first main area. Second area is the tank room, so there is a champion here we need to kill, but we're not really going to have too much problems with it. I'm not going to need rockets to start with in the tank area, and I probably get because I've got rocket launch ammo finder and scavenger on. So you can see there what I done was I got over here and then I waited just for a touch. And I waited because if the champion saw me jumping, he would have been he would have been aiming at me. And unfortunately, the tracking tracked that uh, legionary instead of the 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 barrier. You can see here you're pretty safe, but I don't know if you can just see there to the corner on the left hand side, just the corner of that red box, just on the left hand side. There 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 are scions there. And as it hasn't been, it's not the first time I've been I've been nipped by one of those. Now, because of the distance, that's kind of strange. It never one hit killed me, it, but it put me like at death's door. So I always kind of have one eye at the corner. So here's what we're going to be doing here now. I I got you'd have seen it start if if you wanted to see exactly what I was running, you can pause the video and have a look at the mods. But now we because we're going to be here for a little bit of time, a couple of minutes. I've got a better chance to speak about what, what I'm using. So I have went charge with light. Uh, I changed my setup because I did actually consider 
running, you know, especially for ships and stuff, uh, running Xenophage. And then I decided not to. The very first time I soloed this as a GM, which was when it, when these were around last time, I'd done it live on stream. Uh, it took me a couple of days to work it out. Uh, I, I used a rocket, and I figured the rocket would be really good because the way I want to play this is, is to put as much distance between me and any enemies that can kill me quickly. I want to put as much distance between us as I can. So my Apex Predator has... Autoload and holster, tracking and impact case, and it's just about as good as it's going to get. So I do more damage on impact. I do I, it'll load when I put it away, and and it's got uh, tracking. Uh, the impact case, and you'll probably see when when the rocket hits the enemies, it's, it's more noticeable. I think when uh, it's more noticeable when I've got thunder and glare on, that you get a second number, and I think that's what impact casing does. I think you get a second because I don't have any additional blast stuff. I don't have cluster, nothing like that. I think impact casing just gives you like another another bit of damage. So I've went with I again because I changed and was gonna go I was gonna I was gonna run Xenophage, I put high energy fire on. So I've got uh, I've got the seasonal uh the elemental chargeable light on so I get uh I think I create element elemental wells fonts of elemental light off grenade kills which is good because we're going to be using a lot of grenades i think i do get it off supers as well and then i've got the 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 charge with light elemental which basically gives me two charges of light when i pick up one of those elemental fonts uh so that's what i'm running with that i would i would i would definitely when i was when i because i've done I've done a few runs of this, and I normally have Arden Ordnance on, which increases rocket launcher damage. But high energy fire might actually be the play because, you know, especially tanks and stuff like that, you will do more damage against ads until they die. So if you if you've got if you've got chargeable like going into that, Arden Ordnance is good, but it, I think it just it it increases one rocket if you the more you've got. Obviously, if you've got two charges with light, then it'll increase the damage of two rockets. But high energy fire lasts until you kill the enemy. So it, it, it might actually be good for sustained damage on stuff like these, like the tanks. Uh, as I've said, the reason I went with the Night Watch is uh, range, ex uh, explosive rounds, especially coupling that with uh, the with the, 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 the seasonal artifact mod uh, Sunder and Glare. So it, the explosive rounds do crit damage. Annoying there because I missed my grenade. Uh, I have my discipline up at 100 because I want my grenades back as fast as possible. Try and just get a, a rocket. And that one should finish off the tank. If it doesn't, then... It didn't. So, the, what I'm doing here is basically, uh, it's not rocket science, I'm charging grenades and throwing them at the tank. But what I'm doing is, I'm w trying to time the tank's uh, cannon throw. Now you see they I've thrown it, it got a tick. That's because when you, the tank moves from left to right when he's down at the bottom. When you're over here, he'll go more to the right. When you go over to the other side, he'll move to the left. You're right and left. So I'm just looking to see if I can get an explosion here. There we go. I think that's the, I think that's the tank gone now. Yep. So that's the tank gone. So basically, what we've done with the tank there is I just Kobe grenades on top, and and tried to put a rocket when I could. I used my Nova and my grenade uh, to take out the ads because ads will build up. Ads will build up at the doorway. You see there all those ads, when you're out there, all the ads come down. Now, all the ads come down and they kind of they kind of bunch up. I'm just going to throw a grenade over there and see how many ticks I can get off that. Now, when you come in here, obviously you've got all these cabal, which is good. It's, it's, they are not a big issue. The big issue, you have an unstoppable and he, it's not the big issue either. But you've got two barrier champions up top. They are the issue. If their patterns aren't con aren't controlled, they'll just kind of hang about together. 
You can't really take them from range. Because the minute you do any kind of sustained damage, they run away. Now, there are ways you can do it uh, from range. They're not... I remember from the last time, I didn't really bother with it this time. Uh, I remember from the last time, they're not repeatable. Because it won't happen every time the same way. What I'm going to show you here is repeatable. Because it took me a while to work out how I used to do... You know, how I used to do the the barriers. Because there's a, not, there's a set of two barriers in the next room as well. And they were the ones I had the problem with. Now, I remember when I was doing this on stream... I managed to take one of these barriers up top. You can see that one just hovering around just to the top the top right of my sight. It's just behind that blast wall. I took one of them, but once you take the overload and you take the second tank and stuff, uh, you can you can t you don't have to bother uh, for for a GM completion. You don't have to bother taking these overload the the the, the barriers. Now, because obviously you see there. Those two, they kind of... You've got to make sure all these legionaries are down. I've Again, I've done this before where I thought they were all down and I thought I could uh, thought I could go and push the barriers uh, and then legionaries were there popping, popping their little grenades on me. Just going up here to... Eh? I, I need some heavy. I'm not going to take the chance of... Even if he's got low health because I'm not going to take the chance because the barriers are just above him. We need to take make sure that there are no... Legionaries hiding. So there we go. That should be them all. Now you can activate these these uh, terminals. I wouldn't suggest it. You see there, I've done a bit of damage, and he wants no part of it. The reason I'm doing that is because I want this this heavy ammo, and I, I want to make sure that these ads are not actually not standing at the corner looking at me. There's another brick there. I'll, I'll come back and get that. I'm not going to take the chance. So what I'm going to do is, once you've taken down all the legionaries and you're left with the two barriers, this is what I'm going to do. I jump up, up here, and I'm going to get them to come over. Now, I, I originally was going to fight them from here. But then I, I realized the best thing to do is to bring them over here Right, get back in against the edge. They can't shoot you. You've you've now actually separated them without actually trying to separate them. Now it is clutch. I've had I've had better attempts than this of doing it. Right, you, uh, you'll see what I mean. When you come up here, one will be over there where you were, and and, and one will start to walk back normally. If they don't, if they both stay over there. You see how one's now starting to come back. Rocket straight to your. You want to put Sunder and Glare on as fast as possible. It makes breaking the shield faster. Now, that was unfortunate. I'm still keeping Sunder and Glare on because the other guy is now shielded. I know I'm going to have to deal with them though, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to move about and and kind of get the, get the rockets to, to uh, to miss me. Right? Now, if that Nova had have hit the first champion, it, we wouldn't have had any issues there. Because the, it had done like a 45 degree turn and went for the second champion, we know we, ha we had an issue. But that's normally the way I do it, is I draw them both over here. Right? I draw them both over here, and then I attack one from the other side. I've got range on my side. Now... This will show better how to take the barriers down, right? If you go between... If you go between... Uh, scout Rifle Rocket... And just make sure you reload your Scout Rifle... So, the, the, the first kind of way that I was doing it was... Fire a rocket, it hits... Then you're going to break it, break, break the champion shield. If you're critting, you, you, you then proc Sunder and Glare. You've weakened the champion, because that's what Sundering Glip is effectively, is weakening. He will be less likely now to attack you because he's weakened. Right? Now, for anybody that's like, oh, I'm not sure about that. It's the gospel truth. That's exactly the way it is. If you do that with a barrier champion, 
And what to do is rock it, scope rifle to break the shield. Make sure you're cretting because you can crep when you're breaking the shield. Crep. Leave yourself because uh, you you want you want to be cretting when you're breaking the shield. Then what to do is once you break his shield, keep get rid of the rest of your clips. They'll keep putting that into his head. Reload, switch to the rocket, hit him with the rocket, back to the scout. He won't fire at you. The the majority of the time, he will just be worried that he is... I, I, I know I'm treating him like he's a real person, but it seems like they're just, like, confused at the amount of damage they're taking. And, and, and they'll go... Just before they get ready to do the fire mechanic, because they've, they've took so much damage, they will then just put their shield back up. And you can just go from rocket... <clears throat> Scout rifle to break the shield. Crit while you're doing that. Put Sunder and Glare on. You'll break the shield really easily. It's like five shots, four or five shots, even with bodies to break the shield once they're weakened. And then once you've broke the shield, keep putting a few more in. Reload once you've emptied your magazine. Then put a rocket and switch straight back to the Scout. You'll have no problems taking barriers down doing that. So once you do that... <clears throat> then we've got these two, uh, these two uh, t uh, consoles, these two terminals to activate to bring the second tank down. The reason I didn't activate this terminal down here when I was standing down here taking the ads out is because if I'd have done that and then activated the terminal up top, the tank would have been might have had a chance and the ads might have had a chance to start shooting me when I was coming back here. No point in doing that. So what I'm doing here is I'm using this location. Uh, to basically, again, Kobe grenades onto a tank. A uh, little bit easier to do it from here. So, so what what I kind of do? You see here, I'm even I'm even having a a look at the other champions. There's three unstoppables. What I do is I, I I go from position to position. So I'm do I'll show you from here. I go left. You see how the tank has took a ton of damage already. I go left. The tank seen me. So now the tank, because he can't see me now, he will fire to my last position. So I kind of just wait for my grenade. That's why I'm just keep turning around to these these champions and just putting a little bit on them while I'm waiting. And then I go to the... So I attacked from the left last time. So now I'm going to attack from the right. Just charge the grenade. Jump up. The tank will now... Tank's not really fast to aim and he's not, he's not going to change his aim mid-fire. Right? Now he will fire where he last seen me, which is to the right. As you've seen there. And then I go back to the left and just keep doing that. And your grenades really will melt this tank. Really melt it. There you go. If you land those grenades, try and land in the middle. Now, I spoke about this before, about the rockets. Uh, depending on where you put your... I spoke about the, the, the rockets hitting the, the, the legs of the tank. And, you know... If, if, if you hit in the centre... If you hit in the centre, you do damage to everything, but... You can, tr you can, the tracking on the rockets, you can track certain legs. I'm kind of trying to do the same with the with the grenades. I'm trying to put grenades left, right, and mid. So I'm not just trying to hit the rocket, the, the tank anywhere. I am trying to hit sides. So what you're left with now, you had, you had some uh, shielded cabal. You'll see uh, there's still one up. I just caught him out the corner of my eye. There's a mini boss. I think this is a really bad grenade. I wanted to just skim the roof so I could land it up there. Yep. Ashamed of myself. Uh, but because I've got such high discipline, I'll get my grenade back relatively quickly. Not, not It's not going to be instantaneous, obviously. Another thing I've got is Bomber. So when I when I use my rift, I get a, a bunch of... I get a bunch of grenade ammunition. I've also got ashes to assets on my helm. So... I get super super energy from uh, grenade kills. So I'm going to stop these two champions. Try and stop the other one. Share the damage between both of them. Very nice. I don't say so myself. So they will come so far that they, once you go out here, they, once you go outside the hangar door, the, 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 the unstoppables will track you so far. But once you go outside the hangar door, they're not interested. So I'm, because I've come back in... I'm just trying to just normally shoot. Now I've got them finishable. So there's one down. We don't have a great deal of heavy. In fact, by a great deal, 
I mean none. <laughs> I've got none. But I tell you what, the amount of times the tank up on the and, and I'm pretty sure it'll be there'll be some up there now. The tank is like is good for heavy ammo. I mean, if you don't have heavy, uh the tank is good. Another miss grenade. Too confident in my ability to, to tag enemies with grenades. Uh so yeah. Took out the tank. You've got three three unstoppables. You've got a mini boss still up on the still up on the the ramp where the tank was. Got him. Uh, you'll have the the shielded cabals. Uh, and th and that's it. After you take this tank, that's it. So it, I was doing minimal damage, if if the truth be told, minimal damage to the to the the. The unstoppables when I was doing the tank, when I was dealing with the tank. But they'll just kind of hover around here. They won't really get aggressive until I come close. Uh, so so you can you really can kind of mess about with them. Uh, try and get a stop on one of these. And see now the grenades doing yellow numbers. It's it's great. That thunder and glare is, is my my personal favorite of the seasonal mods because you weaken the enemy. Now, now the great thing about it is thunder and glare. As far as I'm aware, being a solo player, I I haven't really tested this that much. But the times I've done stuff with clan and stuff and friends, thunder and glare is a fire team thing. So you, if you proc it. It works for your fire team. So again, I'm just golden these unstoppables. If I'd have had heavy, or if there'd have been a ton of heavy lying about, it would have been much easier to take these out. I'm just whittling them down. I'm not in any real rush. And now he's stoppable. I can finish him. I say, yeah, finishable. I always say stoppable, and it's kind of weird when you're talking about unstoppables, they're now stoppable. I, may, I mean finishable. Now I'll just go over and finish them. Now, I kind of think, I, I I don't really speak about it too much, but I will here. So there, there's the shielded Cabal, the Phalanx. Uh, there are three of them up on the... Three of them up with the tank. The first, the first two I took out with a grenade. Now we've got a mini boss over here. Again, what we're going to try and do is get some Sunder and Glare on him. Just toss the grenade on top of him, get Sunder and Glare, Sunder and Glare propped. Hopefully he goes back into the grenade. I haven't got it because he was hitting me so much. So I'll just toss that over there and I'll move to the sig. There he is. Sunder and Glare propped. He goes back into the grenade, takes a couple of yellow numbers. And I've almost got my grenade back. I'll jump up on this blast. Uh, blast wall. You see now he's, he's, he's weakened, but when I shoot, you know, Sunder and Glare, I'm, I'm just trying to look. It mu it's, it's more than five seconds it lasts, I think. So then once you kill him, you're going to get these dogs. The only one you've really got to make sure that you, you know, that goes down is the Elite, because, uh, well, it takes a bit more damage than the rest of them to put down. You don't really want him charging at you in, in, in that scenario. So as you can see, I, I I had two bricks of heavy. Because I've got rocket launcher scavenger on, I've now got six rockets. Which should be enough because, let's talk about this now. Uh, going into the boss room, you're going to need you're gonna need to have a bunch of rockets because you, after the boss goes up on his platform, yes, we are going to be doing the grenade thing. After he goes up on his plat but platform, you're going to need to have, when he puts his shield down, you're going to need to have three rockets in reserve, right? Just to make things really safe. So when you come in here, you're going to have one unstoppable and two barriers. Now, the two barriers have, have, have you can see there, the unstoppable. That shocked me. He's not normally, he doesn't normally attra attack from there. But this is your safe zone inside the doorway. Once you go past that doorway, he will no longer push you. Again, you'll see here how much damage these Cabal can do. Massive damage just from a, just from one hit. In fact, in a previous run, three Cabal hit me at the same time from range with that arc 
cannon, and I mean range, and just wiped me. I also had a really... I, I, I've actually clipped it. I might even... I'll probably put it on my Twitter page at, at some point. Uh, tomorrow. I actually died from fall damage. Jump uh, coming off the, where, where the where the Scorpius turrets are right now, where where I shot those Scorpius turrets. I ran off there and and got got ammunition. Then ran off the others, jumped back up, and it was like, oh, there, there's more ammunition. Ran off the other side and died from fall damage from full health. Just ridiculous. Uh, and I, I actually watched the clip back. Was no way I should have died. So. Anyway, you've got this unstoppable. I'm enticing him round here because I want to get him finishable here where it's nice and nice and cozy. So we've got full rockets. You can see there, there's still a Scorpius turret there. The boss will not leave the first area, the first platform, until all the Scorpius turrets are down. The, the, the Scorpius turrets and, 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 and the Cabal that are there. Uh, mo there. There's a few that spawn in afterwards, you can see there. But Scorpius turrets are, are the main thing. They are the trigger for getting them to go to the next side. Now, you've got these elite phalanxes as well. I like to kill them. I like to get rid of those before I move forward. You can see I, I am probably being a touch. Just a touch... Uh, too careful, or maybe overly careful, but I mean, it's a, it's a solo GM. Can you ever really be overly careful? So, I'm mean, just anything I can see, I, I'm, I'm trying to ping. I'm worried because there's always a cabal guy here. He normally, when even if he's not there to start with, he'll like insta spawn. He is there. I'm getting numbers, so. What I'm going to do from this range is take out some of these Scorpius turrets over the other side. You even get Sunder and Glare on these guys. Now the boss is gone. And I that that's most of those, if not all of them. I'm still trying to find this guy over, over this side. There he is. So once you take him down, now our focus is going to be the two barriers. He's ran away. I thought he was actually because they're so buggy sometimes. Uh, I was expecting him to run away, then just come back, just appear back on the platform, and he didn't or hasn't. So I'm just looking to see. I'm I'm pretty sure the barriers aren't here yet because I haven't moved forward enough. So now I can take out these as many of these cabal as I want. As long as they don't run away. There's the there's an honored legionary, but he's he's nothing to worry about. Now we've got the barriers. Now the barriers have actually spawned in. So what I do with the barriers is <clears throat> I take the barriers from up here, right? Just make sure there's nothing there. And now there will be one barrier there. He will fire his attack at me. I'll use the edge of the the edge of this platform to, to block his attack. And again, exactly what I said. Keep enough ammo in reserves to break his shield, and then use the rest of the ammo, reload, put a rocket, and you've got full ammo to break his shield again. If he's as low as he was there, you don't have to worry about it, because you, it's it's not going to be a case of break his shield. It's going to be kill him. So what i done there was I threw my grenade. Now the grenade will put him into his... his, his uh, into his... Uh, bubble state and his shield so now we just go right back in you see there that's exactly what i was saying earlier they he won't shoot at you because he's took that much damage that now he's just like oh i need to save myself and again just really easy to take those barriers out really easy if you get that routine of rocket then Put it on them. Save. I normally, because I've got 16 in my mag, so what? What it kind? The way it kind of normally works out is, I put like seven shots on them, and then he'll put his shield up. So I've got nine in reserve. Nine. You'll see me boost here. This is exactly where I what I jumped off there. I never even jumped. I ran off, and died from fall damage. 
So you can see there, I was like, oh, better boost here. So I've got six heavy. Uh, so yeah, sorry, I'll finish that off. I've got I've got uh, 16 in the mag, so I'll put seven on the champion. I'll put a rocket on the champion, and then I'll put seven on him. And then uh, if he hasn't put his shield up, I'll just hold off. Because I've already put Sunder and Glare on him. I'll hold off, that gives me nine. Normally I can break his shield in four or five shots, that gives me four or five more to put on his head. I'll put them on his head, I'll reload um, my scout, and then I'll put another rocket on him and just keep doing that until they're dead. So, as I say, I've got six heavy. Now what we're going to be doing up here is, the idea is we need to get the boss up on his first platform, and we need to get him to put his shield over his first platform, because then he won't be sniping us. Now, because it's a Grandmaster, it's not so easy to get that done quickly. So, what we're going to do is, when we get up here, and obviously also you're going to have four Scorpius turrets, which I'll do solo. So, I've got six heavy, I've got my super, I've got grenades. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm not going to bother doing too much. If I can get a rocket off on the boss on the way up, then I'm just going to look from here. I can't bust too many uh, uh, rockets, but the minute he brings out his iPad, bang, I'm putting my Nova on him, and then I'm going to head over here. Now, normally the Nova does a heap of damage to him, but it takes the Scorpius turrets out on the left. Now, now what we can do is, we can take out these two Scorpius turrets, I'm talking about our left, not his. Now we can take the two Scorpius turrets out from from the right, now there's no turrets, it's just us and him, so wait for him to fire, and then you can just do that, and again, like the tanks, he will aim at the last place that he's seen you, so, as you can see, nearly got my grenade back, I've, I can use a rocket, because I'm, I, I'm going to keep one, uh, I'm going to keep one for when he goes upstairs, when he goes on his platform, as you can see, seen him going, the ads are coming in, so we're going to wait here, there's the boss, he'll be going up, up there, there's the ads there, so what I'm going to be doing is just putting a grenade around the corner, you'll see me getting the numbers, until his shield goes up, this is what we're going to be doing, right, so what I'm trying to do is get Sunder and Glare on him, See how I'm just nipping in and out, just getting some shots on him. When I feel like he's low enough, I will, I'll put a rocket. Just toss that grenade there, just keep keep doing that. Now, when, when, when the shield goes up, you're going to get more adj. And the reason why we're keeping three rockets is because we need two for the ship, and we need one for the uh, the, the, the solar shielded cabal that's going to come out. The, the See, there's more adds there, we'll just... If, they, if they're firing grenades at you, just back away. You will get a don't turn back, but you'll be back out before that actually is a thing. So I'm just, just, just trying to whittle them down. We've got Sunder and Glare on them. I'm just going to make sure a couple more on them. And then as soon as I, as soon as I feel capable... As soon as I feel like he's low enough that the rocket will put him into, into his shielded phase, then I'll put a rocket on him. Now, be careful. Do not let him snipe, land that snipe shot at you. Because that is a one-hit kill. I feel like the rocket will do its job. There we go. He's th throwing up the flare. It's not happy. We've done big damage. Now we've got the ship coming in. I'm just going to put the rift down just to make sure. And then I'll put two rockets on them. And I'll get my primary out just in case it doesn't actually finish the ship. Which it didn't. I'll now start charging grenades and getting those over and taking out. Because the ads won't, the ads won't push too far up to you. The, the, this is about as, as, as dangerous as it gets. And we'll just, as I say, put that there. 
We know we're going to get that solar shielded guy. We've got one rocket in reserve. And, uh... There he is. If you're at this point in the strike, you have now completed the, the Grandmaster. Now what we're going to do is... All the ads are dead, but I don't have to go searching for the ads. I'm just having a little look, but I don't have to go searching for them because they all came to me. So, now what we're going to do is just for the next however long, six minutes, charge grenades and hit them right underneath them. Uh, and that will kill him up there. So, let's talk a little bit about <clears throat> why this, why, why I use this strategy. Uh, is it because Cheese Forever made a video on it? Is it because Ezo's used it? Or is it because over two years ago, I beat this on Prestige Nightfall using this? I think I was one of the first to make a video on this. Uh, to do this as a thing. So so I feel like... No, I don't. it's not my strategy. I can't remember where I've seen it. But I, I feel like I've got a unique history with this strategy. And... As I said when I'd done my previous Nightfall, if we're still having to do this stuff, which is not really as relevant now, I think I'm making excuses. You're not supposed to solo GMs. So, you know, this is, you've done all the hard work. Take a load off and just throw grenades at the boss. Solo grenades will work, at, at any, any grenade that will go through the Hunter, although it's not as efficient but i mean if you're a hunter and you want to solo this you could do almost everything because you have got the vortex grenade it doesn't do the same damage as the warlock one but it will go if you can get your grenade back fast enough it will do exactly what the warlock grenade is doing here just not for as long so it might take you 10 minutes of throwing grenades uh i think the warlock solar gr uh, the the hunter I, I, I don't I don't actually know if the hunter has it. I think that un hunter's pulse grenades go through here. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. Uh, so that is it, guys. That is the run. That is that is week two solo GM. I'm glad I got it done as as easily as it ended up. I I, I kind of tried it Tuesday night a few times. I just for whatever reason, couldn't work out how to take the double barriers, because they can be annoying because they walk together and, you know, having to take them both, it can be annoying. But, I come on, we're talking Wednesday, I've done this Wednesday, I come on Wednesday morning, i had done two runs and got it. When I came off Tuesday night, I was like, how did I take those barriers out before? I was super tired as well Tuesday, to be fair. But uh, I actually did get uh, an Adept Auto Rifle with Swashbuckler Feeding Frenzy. So, you know, Shadow Price is, is okay, but it's it's not it's not godly. I actually was a little bit surprised because obviously when these Nightfalls were around the first time, we got the Palindrome from this. So it did actually shock me a little, annoy me, frustrate me, but more surprise me because I was expecting... Well, it's arms dealer. It's the palindrome again. But, uh, so next week it looks like it's going to be the Proving Grounds. Now, I'd done that strike in the, in the, as a quest step, I'd done that literally about 20 minutes before I started doing this commentary. I've only, I've only done it once. Looks like it could be a nasty little GM. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to actually try and solo all the GMs, because there's some of them that... I, man, Fallen Saber. That I'm kind of like, I don't know if I can be bothered with it. With the hassle of trying to work it out all week. You know? Uh, but I'm, I am going to give an... A, you know, I'm saying that. Doing the solo GMs at the end of the season, it's, it's all I've got now. It's all I've got. No, it's, there's nothing else I want to do now. You know, I've done in, enough raid runs. I haven't got the eyes of tomorrow. Uh, I'm 13-10 across the board. Well, I'm not, but my Titan needs needs gauntlets. Uh, I said in the last video <clears throat> that I would do runs with people on, on GMs if they needed them. 
a uh, few people have spoke to me about it. So what I'm going to do is I, I, I literally unplugged my PS5 for the first time two days ago. I only I got it at Christmas and I just took it out of the box. Uh, I'm going to get Destiny uploaded onto it and I'll start jumping across platforms. I'm not going to do PC. Uh, I've actually took Destiny off my PC because I tried to play it at the start of the week and it was so buggy that... I was like, nope, we're done with that. And my PC's pretty good, so it's not the PC. I have a new PC. Uh, so, Xbox, PlayStation, console users. If if you're a subscriber and you want to give some of the GMs a go, let me know in the comments because I'm, I'm going to be available to jump across uh, consoles now and help people get the GM Nightfall completions. Now, obviously, we'll try... If, if it's the same people that want to do it, we'll try and get the Conqueror title. You know, and we'll, we'll see what it takes to to get... Uh, obviously, got to do it on all the subclasses. So, I've done that. I just need to do the... Com for the Gilded, I just need to do the completions of of the, the Grand Masters. So, leave a comment in the comments if you're interested in a GM run. Uh, and as I say, I've I've been teasing this for a while. I used to stream, and a lot of you guys used to come into the streams, and we used to have a good time. And then I stopped, uh, and I, I've been threatening to start streaming again for for quite some time. I think I'm almost there. It, it's a mental it's a mental preparation I've got to go through to be ready for streaming. And because I haven't streamed for so long, I'm I'm worried now how it will go and will I enjoy it and yada yada. So, uh, when I start streaming, it will be before the end of this season. We'll we'll do live on live on stream, GM runs and stuff like that. Take people through and get some GM completions. So, again, thank you to everybody that supports the videos, guys. I when I came back after my layoff, I was off for about three months. When I came back, videos weren't getting pushed. What, nobody was watching the guides or whatever it kind of made me wonder whether it was time to give up YouTube but you guys have been killing it with the support uh, long may it continue because I'm I, I'm loving being back I love making the content it's not going anywhere anytime soon so thanks a lot for all the support thanks for watching this video leave a like if you did enjoy it and leave a comment if you would like to get in and give this one a go and until the next video guys you take it easy and I will see you then